How's it going YouTube? This is Nick with The Snail Shop. It's been a while since I uploaded. Um, so what I'm doing today is I'm starting to work on my new drift car. I got a 240SX and this is a Toyota 4 liter 1UZ FE V8. Um, so today I'm going to be pulling this thing apart uh, just to change gaskets and everything and clean it all up inside and um, then putting it back together. Probably not today but uh, that will probably be in another video. So uh, stay tuned, thank you guys, and um, I'll get to it. Uh, so this has a uh, really cool design with the cams where it's um, basically there's one cam on the timing belt and there is a worm gear for the other one. And... Um, you know, same thing on the other side, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna start taking all the accessories off and then crack the heads off. And I'm probably just gonna time lapse this. All right, guys, sorry if that was annoying seeing my head in the way the whole time I'm working in a pretty cramped garage. Um, I know that you guys hate that, but um, kind of have to where I'm at right now with the engine. But so I got all of the accessories off of the front, got all the cover, the crank pulley. The crank pulley was kind of a pain to take off, um, but I got all the accessories back on. I thread all of the nuts and bolts back into where they came out of. Uh, because that just makes reassembly easier. Uh, it's always a good thing to do no matter what. Um, <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is just take all the coolant passages off. Basically get it ready so it's stripped down to just the block and the heads. And um, then I'm going to take the timing belt off and then I'm going to crack the heads off. I might do that in another video because i got to run over to uh, Chris's house. But yeah, so this is where I'm pretty much at for now. I'm just going to get these taken off and stuff, and uh, then I'll kind of give you guys a little walk around of everything that's going to happen with the engine. <laughs> All right guys, so this is kind of the uh, finished product for today. So just got all of the accessories off and um, the timing belt just kind of exposed. Got all of the top uh, water passages off. And um, so now I can basically just focus next time because it's getting kind of cold out. It's Colorado. Um, so next time I can just focus, um, get the timing belt off, pull the cams out and uh, pull the heads off and then I can start cleaning everything up. So. Uh, basically all the parts I took off are just kind of in a little pile over here and um, so I will probably blend this video in together with uh, actually pulling the heads off um, so I'll see you in a couple seconds how's it going guys so it is the next day uh, I ended up going to a buddy's house uh, last night and basically was just working on his car the whole night um, so I didn't get anything else done on the 1UZ so today I'm going to continue pulling it apart um, and I'm basically my goal for today is just to get the heads off and um, I forgot my tripod at his house so I don't have my tripod so I have to rig something up so that I can still uh, have the camera basically recording while I'm doing stuff um, but 
yeah, that is just the goal for today. I will take you guys along and show you everything I'm doing. So, um, yeah. So basically, I'm going to start off by just pulling off the distributor cap so that I can expose the cam gears and uh, be able to pull the timing belt off and all that. And then once I get the timing belt off, I can undo all the cam caps and pull the cams out. And then I can undo the head bolts and pull the heads off. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to get to it. Before I actually start taking anything off, I'm just going to mark... Uh, which distributor cap is which because I am going to be reusing these because they are good as far as I know. Um, so uh, I got my nice silver sharpie right here and I'm just going to be making a, uh, a right and left mark on each one uh, depending on which distributor it's on. So we'll just do that real quick. So I've just got an R and an L on there. So basically again, uh, what you just saw, just writing right and left on the uh, distributor rotors just to keep them all the same when they go back together. Alright guys, so I got the uh, timing belt tensioner off. I, I had a little bit of difficulty with that, um, but it was basically just these two bolts. You pull them off and then uh, the uh, pulley slides over now. So now I can basically just kind of pull the timing belt off. I'm going to do this carefully so that the cams don't spin or anything. I'm actually going to loosen all of the cam caps first, um, just so that uh, the cams are kind of sitting up and the valves aren't pushed down uh, so nothing you know spins or anything because of spring force when the timing belt comes off and yeah so So, might have seemed a little stupid how I took the timing belt off. I just basically didn't want the cams to turn or anything and uh, destroy the engine. So I just loosened all the cam caps before I took the belt off. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the cams out. And uh, after that I can pull the heads off.
All right, guys, what is up? Uh, I am back, and let me get a better light. So, I got both of the heads off of the 1UZ. So, as you can see, there is a decent amount of crap in all the cylinders, which I can see that just by looking through the spark plug holes. So, that's why I decided to pull the heads off in the first place. This bank isn't very bad. Uh, this one is considerably worse. Uh, the head gasket was definitely blown on this side. Um, so, you know, um, not too bad, but I can basically just get this all cleaned up and, um, you know, slap the new head gaskets on, bolt it down, and run it for a couple seasons without boost. Um, so, I mean, uh, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Um, I'm just going to, you know, end this, edit it. I'll probably go upstairs and edit it right now so I can upload it. Um, and basically, so stay tuned for more work on this. Uh, this is the, the 1UZ S13 hatch build. It's just going to basically be my missile. And stay tuned for more of this. This is my SRZ32. Uh, I had this running over the summer for a bit. Uh, basically just on a stock SR setup. And um, I'm going to be building it and um, basically painting a bunch of stuff. Making it look real nice. Basically turning it into a show car. Um, so that's going to be uh, another project we've got. As well as Chris's S14. And um, so... You know, stay tuned for more. Uh, that's a lot of what we're you're going to see out of this channel is just kind of crazy builds, uh, cool engine swaps, stuff like that. I'm eventually going to boost the 1UZ once I get it running and everything. Not quite yet, um, but, you know, we'll see. So, yeah, I mean, stay tuned. And we've got some pretty awesome builds ahead. And, yeah, thank you guys. And have a great day or night or whatever time it is when you're watching this.